What is MediaTek? Most of you might have heard about MediaTek. Most of the low-end phones from Chinese OEMs and Indian brands run on MediaTek's platform. Micromat still uses MediaTek MT6737 on most of their devices. There was a time when more than 60% of phones sold in India used MediaTek chipsets. And now a very popular model from Xiaomi called Redmi Note 8 Pro uses MediaTek Helio G90T. Realme 6 also uses the same system on a chip. Although MediaTek was unsuccessful in the premium segment, they are still a strong player in the low-end and mid-range segment. In the initial days of smartphone revolution in India, entire portfolio of smartphones from brands like Index, Carbon, Micromatch and Lava predominantly used MediaTek. There is generally a perception that MediaTek processors are inferior, they overheat and have weaker performance. The main reason behind this perception is not the problem with MediaTek processors, it is with the smartphone brands themselves. To be precise, lack of software optimization from the smartphone brands lead to lower performance and overheating of the SoC. This phenomenon can be observed on Snapdragon devices as well. For instance, take Moto E3, power from Motorola, it uses MT6735P and compare it to Index Aqua Crystal Plus with MT6737. On paper, Index is much better than Moto, but in real life performance, Moto will blow Index out of the water. MediaTek began its life as a unit of United Microelectronics Corporation. The main purpose of this division was to design a chipset for home entertainment systems. On May 28, 1997, MediaTek became a separate entity. A few years after that, to be specific, on July 23, 2001, MediaTek became a publicly listed company on Taiwan Stock Exchange under 2454 code. One of the first products from MediaTek was chipsets for optical drives. Then they began making chipsets for DVD players, digital TVs, mobile phones, smartphones and tablets. In 2004, the company decided to launch a separate division for developing chipsets for mobile communication devices. By providing extensive system engineering assistance, the company allowed many smaller companies and a new entrance to enter a mobile phone market that had previously been dominated by large, often vertically integrated corporations that had long been broadly entrenched in the telecommunications industry. The mobile chip market quickly became the main growth driver for the company. MediaTek have acquired a lot of companies over the years to get new technologies or get expertise in existing fields. This includes Improcom, a wireless semiconductor design company producing 802.11a, b and a bar g chips. Then they bought analog devices, cellular radio and baseband chipset divisions for US$350 million. After that, they brought Rallying Technology Corporation, gaining products and expertise for Wi-Fi technology for mobile and non-mobile applications, as well as for wired DSL and Ethernet connectivity. The next one was Corsonic, a global producer of digital signal processing products based in Sweden. Corsonic became a wholly owned subsidiary of MediaTek in Europe. Then MediaTek acquired rival Taiwanese chipset designer M-Star Semiconductor Inclusive, which held a strong market share position in digital television chips. This is just a general breakdown of MediaTek's revenue system. Smartphone chips accounts for approximately 50 to 55 percentage of revenue, followed by digital home products up to 25 to 30 percentage. Tablet chips about 5 to 10 percentage, feature phone chips 5 to 10 percentage, and Wi Fi products 5 to 10 percentage. MediaTek have always been an industry leader in innovation. In July 2013, the MT8135 system on chip was the first to implement a new ARM Big Little architecture from ARM for heterogeneous multiprocessing. On November 20, 2013, 
MediaTek launched the MT6592 SoC, the first system on chip with 8 CPU cores which could be used simultaneously in contrast to competing SoCs with 8 physical cores of which only a subset could be active at any given time. The true octa-core trademark was registered to emphasize the difference in marketing materials. In 2014, MediaTek introduced world's first multi-mode receiver for wireless charging. On February 25, 2014, MediaTek announced the industry's first 5-in-1 wireless chip. The SoC MT6630 supports 802.11 A, B, G, N or AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, ANT+, GPS and FM radio. MediaTek collaborated with Google on the first Ultra HD TV platform for Android TV, resulting in the development of the MT5595 digital television SoC. The product first shipped in LCD TV models made by Sony. On November 26, 2019, MediaTek announced the Diamond City 1000, the world's first mobile SoC supporting AV1. AO Media Video 1 or AV1 is an open, royalty free video coding format designed for video transmissions over the internet. On November 25, 2019, Intel announced a joint venture with MediaTek to bring 5G to PCs in 2021.